How to Clean and Care for Your Trumpet As a trumpet player, it's important to learn how to take care of your trumpet. In this video, you'll learn how to properly clean and care for your instrument step by step. It's important to keep your trumpet clean inside and out. Make sure you rinse your mouth out with water if you've been eating right before you play your trumpet. When it's time to play, gently set the mouthpiece into the lead pipe of your trumpet. Give it a quarter turn clockwise. This will lock the mouthpiece in place and keep it from falling out. When you're done playing, simply give the mouthpiece a quarter turn counterclockwise and pull it straight out of the trumpet. If your mouthpiece ever gets stuck, it's important you have your teacher or repair technician remove the mouthpiece. Never use anything but your hands to pull the mouthpiece. Pliers or other tools will damage your trumpet. Over time, you may notice your valves become sluggish or even get stuck. This is normal and easily fixed by oiling your valves. We'll cover how to do this later in the video. If you oil your valves and still find the valves are sluggish, it may be time to give your trumpet a bath. Before you get started, gather all the materials you'll need. You'll need a bathtub or large sink, two old towels, liquid dish soap, and a trumpet cleaning kit. To get started, line the bottom of the tub with one of your towels to help protect your trumpet. Run room temperature water in the bathtub. Make sure the water isn't hot or cold, or you may ruin your trumpet. You'll want just enough water to cover your trumpet. Add a few drops of a good grease-cutting dish soap, like Dawn. Now you're ready to disassemble your trumpet. It's important that you are gentle with your trumpet throughout this process. Never try to force a stuck slide by using anything other than your hands. Brass is a very soft metal and is easily damaged. If you can't remove a slide, simply leave it in place and continue the process. The first step in taking your trumpet apart is to remove the valves. Unscrew the valve caps one at a time and pull the valves straight up. Gently set the valves on the towel in the tub. On the bottom of your trumpet, unscrew the valve caps and gently place them on the towel in the tub. Now pull out your tuning slide. Remember, the metal is actually very soft. Pull the slide straight out to avoid bending the metal. Place the tuning slide on the towel in the tub. Do the same for the first valve slide, second valve slide, and third valve slide. Most trumpets will have a third valve slide stopper. Be sure to loosen your third valve slide stopper before you pull out the third valve slide. Now that all of your valves and slides are in the bath, Go ahead and carefully place your trumpet in the bath. The water should cover your whole trumpet. Make sure the trumpet is laying with the second valve slide ports facing up. While your trumpet is soaking in the bath, go ahead and grab your mouthpiece and the mouthpiece brush from the trumpet care kit. Your mouthpiece should be cleaned once a week as it gets gross much faster than the rest of your trumpet. Run warm to hot water in your sink. Unlike the rest of your trumpet, hot water won't hurt your mouthpiece. Be careful not to get the water too hot or you may burn your hands. Run the water over the inside and outside of your mouthpiece. Use your mouthpiece brush to scrub the inside of your mouthpiece and remove any debris. Back at the bathtub, your trumpet is ready for a good scrub down. Grab the snake brush out of your trumpet care kit. Push one end of the snake into your tuning slide and feed it through until it comes out the other side. Pull the snake all the way through so both ends go all the way through the slide. Do the same with your first valve slide. The second and third valve slide have too sharp of a turn to pull all the way through. So push one end of the snake in as far as it will go, then pull it back out and do the same for the other slide. Next, use the snake brush to clean out each of the small holes in your valves. You don't have to pull the snake all the way through each hole, just use one end to go in and out of each hole on each valve. 
Now you need to use the snake brush to clean out every part of your trumpet. Don't forget the lead pipe and each of the slide ports. If the brush fits in the hole, clean it out. Now you need to grab the valve case brush from your care kit. It's the same shape as your trumpet valves. Use this brush to clean out the inside of your valve casings. Brush from both the top and the bottom of your valve to make sure the casings are nice and clean. Your trumpet is clean and ready to be put back together. Go ahead and drain the water from the tub and use your second towel to carefully dry off the outside of all the pieces. Make sure all the water is out of the inside of the slides and valves by turning the pieces a few different directions. Use the slide grease in your care kit to lightly grease each of your four slides. You only need a little bit of grease and you only need to put it on the parts of the slide that end up inside the trumpet. Slide your third valve slide back into place. Be gentle. Remember not to try to force it. Make sure everything is lined up and it should easily slide into place. Remember, the water key should point down. Once the slide is in place, you can reattach the third valve slide lock. Next, replace your second valve slide. If the slide has a button on one side, the button should face away from the trumpet. The second valve slide is the easiest to bend, so make sure everything is lined up before you push and don't try to force it. Now, replace the first valve slide. The saddle should point up. Finally, replace your tuning slide. Make sure the water key is pointing down. If one side of the slide is longer than the other, get that side started and slide it in until the second side meets. Line up the second side and gently push in. Turn your trumpet upside down and gently screw the valve caps back in place. It may take a few tries to get them started, but be patient. The brass of your trumpet is softer than the metal caps and it is easy to get them cross-threaded. Make sure the cap is sitting level and is turning easily. Now it's time to oil and replace your valves. You can oil your valves between baths if your valves feel sluggish. On your valves, you'll find a number, one, two, or three. On the valve marked one, Draw a small bead of valve oil down the dull part of the valve. Place the valve in the valve casing that sits closest to the mouthpiece. Turn the top of the valve until you hear the valve click into place. Screw the valve cap on and press the valve a few times to distribute the oil. Do the same with valves two and three. Put valve two in the middle and valve three in the spot closest to the bell. Test to make sure all the valves are in the right place. Blow in the lead pipe of the trumpet and push each valve. If you can blow freely, good job. Your valves are in the proper position. If you can't blow through the trumpet, you have a valve turned wrong or two valves mixed up. Double check to make sure each valve is in the correct slot and securely clicked into place. That's it, your trumpet is clean and ready to play. Remember, your trumpet needs a bath once a month and your mouthpiece needs to be cleaned once a week. If you have any trouble with your valves, try oiling them and double check to make sure they are in the proper position. If you have any questions about your trumpet, please visit johnpaulusa.com.